Nothing is impossible if you put your mind and effort to it. My name is Agose Onwe, but you can call me the BRT artist. I am a fine artist and also a lawyer. I sketch strangers all across Lagos for free. Thank goodness I've used my skills to put smiles on people's faces. I am based in Lagos, Nigeria's biggest city. <laughs> like most young people would say, this is a place of survival. If you can make it here in Lagos, you can make it anywhere in the world. My sole dream as a fine artist is to be well known all across the world. Honestly, sketching makes me happy, but sketching random strangers in Lagos makes me happier. And the fact that I do it for free makes me want to fly. Thank you very much. Keep on watching Nigeria to the world. You got this. Thank you very much, EJ. Thanks. Hey guys, welcome again. It's EJ of Nigeria to the world, where I bring the world to you. And on today's episode... Hi guys, my name is Agose Onkwe. I'm a fine artist and I'm also a lawyer as a profession. What do I mean by a fine artist? You know this as well. It's a person who draws and make really nice artwork, portraits, paintings, just name it anything art related i'm your guy so um that's my profession and that's what i do for a living just as i am a lawyer okay i've actually been drawing all my life i started drawing i think from the age of six so um i started with the stick drawings you know the circle and you know the stick figures it was fun at the moment then i started to improve i watched lots of animations cartoons you know anime i'm actually an anime fan so as I watched, it kept on registering in my head and I decided to, you know, improve and then put it on paper as I watched the cartoons. So I progressed from making cartoons to actually drawing human beings. Back then, my mom was very supportive, like she was extremely supportive. Shout out to you, mom. So yeah, my mom was supportive and my family was also supportive. And I decided to, you know, further to sketching actual life human beings. And at first, it wasn't really fun because it was extremely difficult at the time. There was a time I was actually like making like free artworks. I would frame it with my own money and you know just to have the clients. You know, it was fun, but it was difficult. But the thing is, practice, as they say, makes perfection. As long as there's consistency, there will also be improvement. He kept on drawing and I kept on sketching. But the thing is, um, I came to Lagos for my law school program after I graduated from Enugu State University of Science and Technology in ASUT. So after my law school program, I actually, you know, enjoyed my stay in Lagos and I decided to observe my NYSC here in Lagos also. As I started, I had this, you know, I had this craving since I was gifted this gift by God free of charge. I wanted people to actually see my gifts. I wanted to make the world better make lagos better through my gift so i was like what's actually stopping me nothing so i decided to sketch people for free you know you don't need to pay me i don't need your money you're a stranger you don't know me i don't know you but i just want you to be happy i want you to smile you barely see people smile in lagos so on the february 6th i got on brt bus you should know the brt bus we used the card to you know log in and also i got on the bus i saw a man and i was like what the hell let me just sketch this man i had my drawing equipment my pencil my sketchbook i sketched this man and my hands were literally shaking and the worst part of it was while the bus is in motion you know there are lots of potholes in lagos road it kept it kept on you know vibrating shaking quaking i was making lots of mistakes but when i was done i tore it out and i gave to the man he was extremely happy he smiled and it was a genuine smile from his heart you gave him what he didn't expect 
what possibly he couldn't afford you understand and you don't know if he was having a bad day before then but the, the smile was so genuine and heartwarming that i was like this wouldn't be the end i would keep on sketching people anywhere i see someone that needs something that can brighten their day i'll do it so i kept on doing it from february to march april may june to this july i still keep sketching strangers across lagos on brt buses or at e trees on the road on the uh, anywhere at all so that's just it so my my contribution i think is actually making a little bit of impact though i can't draw everyone like in the world but at least the little i meet and the little i sketch i'm making a difference understand so that's that's just basically it and i also want to give a very huge shout out to ej ej is actually a very good friend and he reached out and wanted to you know portray me show the world that they are still good in lagos people are good in lagos and you know it's not all bad understand i'm not perfect but i believe that my little contribution would go a long way just like the way your own contribution would go a long way okay um i don't okay honestly i'm not in a relationship right now i just came out of one but right now i'm not in a relationship i'm a single pringle like you say um well the advantages and disadvantages okay i'll start with the disadvantages okay so the thing is obvious you know when you start sketching someone on a bus you don't know when they would get off the bus you don't know and the person doesn't even know that you're sketching him or her so let's say you're almost done or you're halfway through and then they'll be like yeah driver oh wow then they will just come down at your bus stop and you can't give someone an unfinished work it's it's just not right you get so i just have to keep it like i have lost count of the numbers of unfinished works works that i couldn't hand over to the stranger before i'm done and it breaks my heart honestly you can never get over that feeling trust me personally it's worse than a heartbreak okay so advantages the advantage is simple it's simple but nice you know when they react when they smile like you know as an a genuine smile when they look at you which sometimes they look at you with teary eyes to show you that i wasn't expecting this i've never received something like this there was a guy he looked at me i was like he has never received any gift at all in his life like an adult he hasn't received any gift not to talk of a portrait so he really thanked me and he said that he would actually frame this he framed it and he hung it in his room most times he just you know sends me messages on whatsapp saying thank you like i think twice a month so you see that's like the advantage it it warms my heart it makes me happy to know that someone is out there happy because i sketched him or i sketched her so basically that's the advantage and also it's um how do i put it it creates lots of connections also that's like a secondary advantage that's not my primary advantage but it creates a great deal of connection especially through tiktok like you know it's a very great way of you know pushing you out there to the audience so people see your work they see what you do they are marveled and they are attracted to what you do then they give you lots of deals works portraits to make as commissions this time around they pay so that's basically it the advantage and the disadvantages okay how i juggle the two professions right okay well honestly it's not easy you won't even see a lawyer that has time to do some certain things that i do the, the the secret is i have a great deal of passion for art you know you make time for the things you love it's not a joke it's not rocket science it just happens if you actually love something you would never be too busy to give it an attention or really take care of it so that's what or how i see my art so how i see my talent i give my entire week to my law profession i work in the law office not mine but you know i'm a worker there so i do my law work from monday to friday but the thing is any slightest chance i get i sketch someone let's say i'm hungry and they said to go to an eatery I just take my art materials because I won't know I might see someone that I like or would like to sketch. I take it there while I eat and I see you, you are really nice, appealing. I'll just bring out my sketch pad, my pencils and I'll sketch you in like 30 minutes stops. I'll let you have it. So that's how I actually do it. I use my free time, I use my spare time to sacrifice at the altar of art. You understand? So that's just how I juggle art and law.
and then it works for me fine. So um, when it comes to how long it takes me to sketch a face, faces differ. You might see someone with a complex face. You know, yeah, you know, some people they have like let's say dreadlocks, beards, glasses. Name it, you understand? So it will be more difficult and slower to sketch someone like that. So it should take me like let's say uh, if I have the time, 40 minutes or 35 minutes for someone difficult. But if it's someone simple, it's a guy having just low cut, probably no beards, simple, uh, it could take me like 20, 15 even. Understand? So a girl with just um, let's say no extension, she just packed her hair. Uh, you'll be surprised it might take me just five minutes or ten at most so the more or the less complex the person the faster i'm done with the drawing the more complex the stranger the slower it takes me to finish the drawing personally if i have the power i would change our government system our legal system every form of system relating to the government we will need to change it refurbish it and then push in a new and better era and then Nigeria would you know you know grow out of the ashes like the Phoenix and fly do I have a studio um I don't physically have a studio but you know the world right now is all global and digital so just go on my Instagram or go on my TikTok but particularly on my Instagram and send me a DM you can reach me via agozie underscore onkwe simple agozie underscore onkwe go into my dm send me a series of messages and on my instagram you can also see my whatsapp number you can decide to go through whatsapp and just i'm just a dm away and then you know you can talk and make deals my advice to the young um, and rising star be it an artist or anyone under his profession is i know i'm a living example when you start it seems impossible when you start it's as if you are at the same sp space without moving no progress don't stop don't stop just you know keep grinding wake up at night keep grinding wake up in the morning keep grinding have this voice in your head telling you that it will be better you understand what you need to understand is that it can never it can never ever get worse than it is right now that's just how life works you might think it's getting worse it's not getting worse you're just it's like you're a diamond and you're going through the furnace. It hurts, but you're getting better. You're getting stronger. You're getting the experience you need. You can't get experience by staying one place. You get experience by grinding, by pushing. So when you do this, when you, for example, you're an artist, when you keep drawing, the more you draw, it's like making a sacrifice. The more you sketch, the better you get. The brain gets accustomed to what you do regularly. You understand? It doesn't get accustomed to what you don't do at all. If you do it regularly, consistency is the key. You get better. And trust me, people will hear about you. Clients will hear about you. Deals will come to you. They understand that you reject deals, but only if you keep pushing. Young artists out there, young actors, young musicians, never give up. See. I knew when whiskey was just, you know, going through the streets, begging for deals. But now, see where he is. Keep pushing, keep grinding. It will come to you. What is yours will definitely come to you as long as you work hard. When I was 10 years old or 12 years old or even 20 years old, I never knew that one day I can sit one place and sketch someone. It would look like the person and I can confidently hand it over to the person for free. I got to that point because I kept on sketching and I was consistent. So keep on grinding. Keep on being consistent and trust me the sky is only your starting spot starting point thank you very much keep on watching nigeria to the world you got this thank you very much ej thanks thank you